I loved that mixtape. Enough to throw it out the window when my favorite song was over on the highway to Victoria at 120 miles per hour. A good mixtape has beauty and power. The power to change your fucking life, and that's just the trouble. It's easy to get too attached to a good mixtape when what you need is the messianic prophecy of a new one. So I crucified my favorite mixtape on the side of the interstate so its gospel could live forever. We are losing so much to the convenience of the future. More than we realize until the paralysis of retrospect kicks in. Adding favorite songs to a playlist and burning it to a CD is so easy. But Marx had some shit right for a dead guy with a beard. Value extends from labor. Unlike most economic theory, that concept becomes more relevant when applied to the dynamics of friendship instead of less relevant. A mixed CD can never articulate what extends automatically from an evening spent manually recording those songs to cassette. When producing a mixtape, it is vital to treat the medium as an art form. Otherwise, a mixtape is just a collection of songs, and the process itself about as romantic as filling out paperwork. The pause button exists for a reason. In the right hands, it's a paintbrush, or the killer electric distortion guitar from the greatest Midwestern hardcore band to tour through your friend's basement all summer. Use the pause button to splice songs, add commentary to them, or make those dope breakdowns as long as they should have been. And if you haven't made a mixtape for years, tonight is the night. Pick someone that means it all to you and let it crash on a celluloid like a brick through a cop car window. Don't let them tell you they don't have a tape deck. They'll fucking find one. Trust the power of the mixtape as generations have before us. 